Hey soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot. And in today's reading, we're taking a look at the 8-8 gateway portal. Can't wait to get into this reading. I wait for it every single year. And of course, today we're taking a look at what major changes to expect in your life right now. To do this reading, we are going to be picking three piles together. All right, so I see one here. So that's one, two, and of course, three. Right, so let's see what we have for today's reading. For pile number one, you have fun. For pile number two, you have union. And for pile number three, you have reveal. If you like to pick with crystals, let me add these right now. There we go. So for pile number one, you have the beautiful moonstone. For pile number two, you have the green, gr oops green grass jasper and for pile number three you have the rose quartz in the shape of a star all right so take a look at which one of these three piles or three crystals you're the most drawn to and that will probably be the pile for you here today. And as I always say, in case you feel drawn to more than one pile, maybe you're drawn to even all of the piles, trust your intuition. It is your magic that always guides you and leads you to the right readings. So if you're drawn to more than one, several or all, do note that there are messages there for you to hear as well. Sometimes you, eat, you may even be surprised at the type of message that you were meant to hear given that you were led to the other pile so trust your intuition there's no too little and there's no too much and as usual you'll find the timestamps down in the description box click on your times and i'll see you in your readings Hi, pile number one, welcome to your reading. You were drawn to the beautiful fun card, as well, ooh, looks like these two are your cards, as well as the beautiful moonstone. And today we're taking a look at the 8-8 eight, eight Lion's Gate portal energy. And with that, we're taking a look at what major changes to expect next in your life right now. Okay, we'll take this card and finally, We'll be taking one card from this deck. There we go. A couple of tea leaves before we delve into your tarot cards. So look, I, I see a little space here, although it's a time card, so it revealed there itself to us. We're gonna whoop, take it, that's a lot. But I also, to be honest with you, feel drawn to the green card here because it popped out. Oh, these are a lot. That's the one I was drawn to. And, whoa. <laughs> Let's see what you have, my dear pile number one. Okay, starting off with your oracle cards first. You have 
Fellow travelers, support is all around you. Love this energy for you. Okay. You have my dear friend. Isn't this sweet? Dear friend and support. I'm getting this strong sense of support here in your reading. You also have under my umbrella. Hmm. This idea of being protected, being supported, being guided and helped. All right. You also have the puppeteer. Very interesting now that this card popped up. You have explanations, apologies. Looks like it's going to be a really interesting reading for sure. All right. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah. Okay, so you have, whoa, the sun, happiness and well-being. <laughs> I'm telling you, sun and fun, fun in the sun. <laughs> You're going to love this time of your life. What major changes? These are going to be super positive changes. You have love as well. See, your reading has an element of being loved and supported. You have flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Interesting that this came right next to friends. And you have, see, people are definitely involved in your reading. Fair woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. And finally, you have the month of November. Really cool. Okay. Let's now take a look at your tarot cards. Did you notice here in your reading, you have in the fun card, two people or rather a very cute mouse and a person laying down on the floor, having so much fun. And then you see the same position in the puppeteer card. They're kind of like lying down and relaxing and also having a lot of fun. So there's no question that one of the major things or changes to expect next in your life is you having so much fun with people being surrounded by wonderful people that you love that you will ha be having a lot of fun with and that, that there's a lot of love between you and these people that's definitely a potent energy uh, in today's reading when it comes to what to, major changes to expect next with this uh, eight gateway so you have the three of swords you also have the eight of wands the seven of wands interesting <laughs> okay you have the strength card hmm. i saw strength with november it's giving me the strong impression that something significant or strong may be happening in uh, November. You know, even when I was saying maybe, my mind was so strongly thinking of will that I was almost going to actually say will. But I try to be careful with dates. This is the one time I will not make a warning about date because I, almost gonna, I was almost going to say it. Uh, because my mind was really forcing it as I was saying maybe so looks like something strong something significant is happening in November starting now of course with the Lions Gate something powerful it's, you know so it's, it's a powerful gateway it's a powerful portal and do expect big energies and this is why I'm always excited about this reading every year so yes expect something major to begin but by November, it's going to, something significant will be created out of it. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Can't help but also notice that there's a lot of people uh, interacting together in your, even in, with your tarot cards. And then you have the Six of Wands. Loving your energy here. Okay. So. What are we seeing, my beautiful pile? Number one. Hmm. 
something is really grabbing my attention and it's really making me smile because of the symbolism in your cards it's unbelievable but believe it or not you see this figure is holding the head of this deer uh, the antlers you have something on the head here and then you have the three of swords of course which talks about creating inflicting pain upon ourselves with our own thoughts and so we see this figure Yes, maybe some things did not go right, but the Three of Swords always shows us that the outside world is affected always by the way we think of things. We think of ourselves or we think about the situation because ultimately it's going to affect the way we interact with the situation and the way we respond to it. And so your card here your cards here are showing me something super interesting with the gateway with this gateway the one of the major changes that is happening to you right now is cleansing of the mind this means i know it might sound a little bit crazy but wait hold up with me here you're going through a cleansing process a great great cleansing process that is giving you a lot a lot of strength and mental fortitude because you are clearing your thoughts from the very ideas limiting beliefs and fears that used to hinder you in the past and this is why you have the eight of wands here because you will notice how with this type of cleansing that is happening in your life at the moment you will be pleasantly surprised in fact, flabbergasted to notice just how many things move quickly just because you've changed your mind about how you see things. Things are going to start moving really quickly for you in so many different areas of your life, but especially when it comes to your mental fortitude. And because you are taking a grasp on your mind, it seems like this is having an effect on your connections you are now able to control your connections and how you have fun with other people. Um, maybe you are deciding to be, you know, because I see work here, so maybe you work a lot and you like stop people, you know, you're like, I'm busy, can't do that. Maybe you're gonna decide to uh, balance between the two areas and so now you're having fun and you're also doing what is necessary and succeeding. Or maybe this is you not connecting with others because of some fears that you had in your mind. In that case, oof, major changes happening here. I see you, of course, as the reading showed from the very beginning. You clean, clearing your mind from these thoughts will automatically make things move between you and people very quickly. And I see that these people will be a support system around you. These could be people that are already there that you kept at arm's length, or these could be generally you keeping people at arm's length. And as you're healing through uh, these thoughts, which is one of the major gifts that is going to be very supportive with the uh, eight, eight, eight Lions Gate uh, portal, that support of power imagine it some sort of cleansing energy or in terms of giving you so much power allowing you to drop these thoughts and change your mindset um completely by eliminating the very thoughts that used to stand in your way as a red flag between how you feel uh, and you connecting with others actually connecting with others so you're removing these with the flag, you're removing these limiting beliefs, these fears, these triggers uh, that used to stand in your way or the fal false ideas, yeah. And you will notice that during the Lionsgate portal, portal and moving forward, things will start moving for you in different areas as you're clearing your thoughts here. But most prominently, you're going to be fortunate when it comes to People, because with the bingo, 
you know, people winning the bingo in this Wheel of Fortune card, I feel like you're also going to be very lucky with this energy to meeting bingo people, if we can use that symbology, <laughs> symbolism. It means you're going to meet key, wonderful people during this time who, will, who you will feel very fortunate to know and will be your support uh, system around you. They'll be great friends. They are going to people going to be people that you will love and have fun with, and they're going to be such positive energy in your life. Isn't this so sweet? <laughs> it looks like in the past you used to give your back towards either these type of people or people in general. Uh, I think they used to cause pressure pressure on you. For a lot of you, it looks like you you kept them yes at arm's length like i said either because of these thoughts or because you were busy or maybe even both who knows maybe even both and i see you making some new rules here this means to me you're swapping one idea with the other do you see that you're making some notes and you're like i'm not gonna think like that i'm now from now on tearing these old ideas as you can see with this three of swords here i'm tearing these old ideas and old thoughts and now i'm going to be swapping them with stronger ideas what are there it says urgent that's the only thing i can read hey you're obviously doing that very quickly with the eight of wands you're swapping all these ideas with more empowering ideas and uh, look pile number one this is going to have a strong effect on your life in terms of two areas i did already mention the first one the second one is that they will be helping you succeed in a goal that you're working towards it looks like the same thoughts or in general uh, the pattern of thoughts that you used to work with kept you challenged constantly Maybe you were afraid to take on new tasks or new projects. Maybe you're afraid to get out of your comfort zone and do things, uh, other things. You felt like you already had enough to deal with. I think the way you're going to be, the new way you're going to be thinking of things uh, in this next phase of your life is allowing you to take off, here's the thing, to take off more load and give you much bigger results. You know what this reminds me of? These two cards remind me of the Pareto Principle. Have you heard about it, my dear pound number one? Where uh, the Pareto Principle, principle talks about how 20% of something in your life has an 80% effect on your life, whereas... Um, 80% of what you're doing could only be giving you 20% results. So for example, if we're talking about your work here, this could be you doing, you focusing on 80% of things that don't really give you much result, whilst if you focus on the important or the rather the effective 20% of things in your work, they're going to give you the 80% result. So be it in relationships, be it in a goal that you're working towards or your actual work, you are finding a smart way where you're focusing on the important things, taking off a huge load off of your back and getting at the same time 80% of the result, whereas you used to get only 20% of it in the past. That's, that's definitely, although it's a little part of your reading, it's definitely an important one right here. So yeah, my dear pile number one, back to the important part here. Uh, there seems to be a message in this uh, strength card. It really looks to me like someone has read something and is looking for the person that has sent her this message. So this definitely gives me an idea that you will be contacted by someone expect a certain message would you like some clarification on this message that you're getting around these days how about we check this out for you 
So, can we kindly get guidance, please, for pile number one on the message that we've noticed in their reading, please? So, how about we go to... I actually feel this one as well, so... And then we'll take this one, and then we'll take that one, and then we'll take this one. These are a lot. I wasn't expecting all this. So, what do we have? One, two... Three, six cards. Okay, so you have the Four of Swords. Do you see that? Someone's waiting for... S Talk about the message. Oh my God. Do you see that? In fact, with the Four of Swords, this tells me that this is a message coming out of the blue because look at this person. They're like, what? Where did that come from? So it looks to me that you will be like resting, doing your everyday thing, and then a message pops up, relaxing, not expecting it. Whoa, nine of wands in the earth. I'm seeing a lot of messages here. You see it here. It says work request. Okay, maybe this is a message you're getting from someone you're working with. Very uh, specific. Please don't take it too specifically but somewhere out somewhere um i mean someone will have this happen to them and if when it comes to your work but not necessarily you're getting a message here is definitely what i'm getting and we'll read what the cards are saying in a second i'm just telling you quickly what i'm noticing and you have the five of swords someone won someone lost okay Okay, let's continue. And let's keep this one here so we can continue to see it. Right, the hermit. Mm -hmm. Two of cups. And ace of swords. Look, this is someone who's really happy here after being stressed. Look at that. This is really interesting. So you're getting a message. It looks like it's going to disturb you a little bit in the beginning where you're going to feel like, oh my God, I lost this or oh my God, this is not going the way I wanted it. Yeah, something is disturbing you just a little bit here with this message. But it's leading you to create a meaningful, very meaningful bond with someone and getting a great advantage within what was bothering you from the beginning here. So let me give you an example of what I'm trying to say. Let's say you were trying to get a job as this last card suggests. You've been waiting tirelessly for that email to come telling you that you got the job once you get that email you are surprised that it's not the end of the situation where they're like congratulations you were hired you realize that maybe over a small thing you did not get this job with a five of swords o over something super silly like um, they wanted you to admit some sort of paper that you didn't and you didn't even know that you, they, you were supposed to admit it. So you call your HR company that helped you get this job in the first place. And you explain to them that this was unfair because no one told you about this. But you don't have anyone uh, to hear you out so that you can explain that you nobody told you about the, submitting this paper. And you really want this job and you've been working hard trying to get it. You would, you know, it would really feel unfair. And so uh, you have someone in the HR, HR who can really help you. They're like, oh, it's true. Uh, nobody actually told you about this. Don't worry about it. I can handle it for you. Uh, I can make a phone call and make it happen for you. So here it looks like in that case you'll be... Um, they will make you feel better, more tranquil. You'll be waiting a little bit and then they'll be 
sending you a message telling you, hey, we got this done, we helped you out, this was a misunderstanding, you can go to work tomorrow. And you're like, yay, I got this job. And along this way, you made some good friends with that person that was helping you in HR to get this job or to, you know, clear out this uh, misunderstanding or the unfairness that was happening. So yeah, you're creating a very intimate, strong bond with someone here who's gonna be helping you out with a situation that um, may not be favorable in the beginning, may not be fair at all, and they will totally understand your situation. They will be supporting you, helping you out, and you will be creating a strong bond between you and them. So when we t uh, noticed the letter here, this was talking about both aspects of communication, in fact. It was talking about that message that uh, came out of the blue where you finally thought this was great news. And then it's the message of that person out of the blue again telling you, hey, it got fixed. And this is however it fits in your life. In whichever area, I mean. And so it um, represents a lot of communication, it seems, back and forth. And it's in the area of something that you really want, just so you know. It's in the area of something that you really want. Not only are you getting it, being fortunate to get it, but also you're going to be fortunate along this path to create a wonderful friendship or connection uh, along the way. Yeah, your reading is has strong energy of change your mind, change your fate. It has a strong energy of meeting a lot of people in this next phase of your life and forming beautiful bonds and love, beautiful connections, unique people. It is full of you succeeding in a goal that you want to achieve. And most importantly, the specific situation with the messages back and forth with someone helping you attain something that is important for you. And my dear pile number one, this is exactly what I see in your reading on what major changes to expect in your life right now with the Lionsgate uh, portal, uh, portal. I truly hope you've enjoyed this reading. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Uh, you know, I post readings nearly every single day. So please consider subscribing if this is something that you enjoy. And also, please don't forget to check out my productivity e-cookbook. This is a project that I've been very passionate about. I've partnered with a nutritionist to help me out bring this e-cookbook e for you guys. Uh, it has 210 recipes that are healthy, delicious, and the idea is that it's cooked in a matter of minutes, giving you the rest of the day to do whatever is important for you. Um, if you're vegan, there's a vegan version. If not, you can even make use of both eBooks. This way you'll have a plethora of healthy and delicious meals to choose from, perhaps even for the rest of your life, since there are no duplicates. And uh, if you're interested in checking it out, you'll find the link to it down in the description box. And my dear pile number one, I've enjoyed your reading immensely. I wish you the best of luck moving forward. May you enjoy these beautiful changes that are coming for you. And thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. You were drawn to the beautiful green grass jasper as well as this beautiful card that has the keyword union. And I've just noticed something as I was taking a look at this card. Look, there's a branch from the outside peeping in. So yeah, and two moths uh, standing on the wall here. Very interesting. Let's see how this all fits into your reading. And as you know, today is a very special reading. I wait for it every single year. We're taking a look at the energy of the Lionsgate portal. And with that, we're going to be taking a look with this energy on uh, what major changes to expect in your life right now. Okay, to do that, we'll be picking up 
picking out one card. Whoa, thanks. Are these two? Yeah, two cards from each deck. And I want to take just one tea leaf, but it depends on, of course, what comes out. One, but I see the other one peeped out, so I'm going to take it. All right. Let's now take a look at your oracle cards first. So you have finding sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source. And yeah, we did see an open window here. Let's see what this is trying to say. And you have again, the peeking through the window, rainbow, uh, sorry, the window, rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering your life. Whoa, <laughs> I think I would totally love to be pile number two now. Loving this energy. Right, um, you also have the scholar, investigation, research. Mm -hmm. You have transformation. Wow, it is big energy, that's for sure. And you have the gavel, involvement with the law. It's interesting that it's coming with the scholar. It does make me feel like you're making something official or you're signing some official paper or getting a certificate. And you have barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. Right, this looks super positive overall. I do certainly see major changes happening in your life and that peak from the window lets me know for sure that something major is about to enter i think you're going to be able to see ahead whereas before you may not um you weren't able to see what is about to happen uh, so with the energy of the window here you're getting a peak right we take a look at windows to see on the outside what's going on and so through this reading you're taking a peek onto what's happening next because now is the divine time where things are going to start changing for you and that's the sort of energy we're seeing with this lion's gate portal energy some major transformation major actions happening with these actions it's giving you now a peek on what to expect next in your life. Okay, so right off the bat, you have the Six of Pentacles. What does it say on the Save Our World? Okay. Some of you, someone listening here is like um, an, a human rights attorney. Okay. You have the Five of Swords. The Three of Wands. The Seven of Cups. The Seven of Wands. And finally, no, actually not finally. We can place one card right here. Okay, you have the Queen of Wands. Wow, okay. Finally, how about we take this one? I feel this one. Whoa, <laughs> so cool, the Page of Cups. Okay, so there are many things happening here. There are new experiences because look at that. You keep looking into something. And so with something missing and this Page of Cups peeking into an aquarium i really feel like first off you're getting into a new experience of your life one that you haven't yeah experienced before this could be through you signing some documents this this could be by the way taking a look at all of that these could be travel documents some of you may be preparing some travel documents that you'll be surprised to find out about and traveling uh, maybe it's related to money, love, or, certain, or something related to your goals, or simply just having uh, traveling and having fun. So all the best of luck with that. But this is no small energy. You're preparing some paper here with the transformation card because it looks like it's a trip that is genuinely changing your life. So if it's not 
traveling. The other options are you signing a contract that is giving you a majorly different experience. This is like uh, a new job that is allowing you to do exciting things that you haven't done before. Maybe you are getting into a new world, you know, like Hollywood or you know you could be a news anchor or some of you are like an uh, archaeologist that will have a, their own show uh, it's it, it, it's a definitely a cool new experience happening next like this is r right now this is about to happen into your life your reading is full of the energy of experiencing something new uh, seeing the world from the top view and that means um not being zoomed in on the everyday little tasks but your life is taking you to look upwards to experience far greater things and more meaningful things more beautiful things than your everyday tasks nothing wrong with everyday tasks of course they are the very things that take us towards our goals but your reading has more of an energy of uh, enjoying life at the moment it's giving you a taste of what exploration is uh, or adventure is that's exactly what i see i see you going to uh, experience traveling uh, going to nice restaurants um, and seeing things in the outdoors that usually you wouldn't be able to see going through experiences that you usually wouldn't be able to see so that's the first potent energy that we see here i see you playing a lot i see you experiencing playing going out restaurants traveling just experiencing life right so as i said that's the first thing that we see second thing i see is a major transformation in the way you work so i see a huge level up happening here for you within your work the energy of that is you leveling up where you don't have to do the tiresome or loaded type of work that used to challenge you in the past i see you really upgraded upgrading into doing i want to say more leveled up type of work that is more exciting for you and less stressful that's definitely something that i see expect a major transformation in that energy so this is like depending on what your work is maybe your work is at home you know you uh, take care of your home your children and you want everything to be top notch so you have so much loaded maybe there is a level up where you're so lucky you're going to be you're going to have help there's a new system around the house of every person now taking care of a different area or, or a different responsibility in the house and overall you are being respected appreciated uh, and you have everything in order the way you want uh, and you're also now enjoying it because now you get to decorate and do the things that you've always wanted to do uh, if you're if you're working towards your goals then perhaps you were at a stage where you, you had to work a lot you had to build a lot and it was just so challenging and so tiresome it used to burn you out uh, maybe now you are being um, promoted to a higher level job where now you get to use your skills to do the things that would take your company into um, much better places and you don't have to deal with the same uh, type of heavy work that you used to do so take this as how it resonates there is certainly a level up uh, in your status a level up in uh, how you do things because now you're doing much more creative things than the things that were challenging i think in terms of workload and you're enjoying uh, your creative process much more I, I see with this queen of wands uh, more of a bossy attitude now she gets to have the freedom to say i don't like this 
that's boring, you know? <laughs> Whereas this person doesn't have that type of privilege of, you know, saying it's boring because it looks like this person is getting some more work anyways, <laughs> right? So past energy seems to be super stressful. You can see it on their face and in the sweating. Here, you see someone who's comfortable and getting to say, they have a say saying, that, looking at these two papers as opposed to all the stack of paper and saying, that's boring. I may not like uh, to do that. Maybe I have more important things to do or more important things to focus on. So overall, um, we see a keyboard here. It's like other people are working. Yeah, there's definitely a, a level up here. Uh, your life is more organized when it comes to your goals or your work. You're enjoying what you do so much more. We see stars here. You can see that this person is, uh, has li is light and having fun. Their energy is, is crystal clear, beautiful. Uh, they're dressing, they're, they have time to dress up even nicely. Yeah, overall, their energy is really, really good. So definite level up when it comes to what your work or the goals that you're working towards. Things are much lighter now. For some of you, things are lighter because you have other people managing different areas. You see, project process, I see. Yeah, different people being involved uh, and not just you trying to work on it, work on that goal. Maybe this is a new job and you are lucky enough to be in a new place where it's more organized and there are different teams or different departments that handle a lot of the things that you had to deal with in the past. In all cases, take it as it resonates. There's definitely a level up here going on. Uh, in your work or goals. Also, a major change is some generous energy peeping in that you're not expecting at all. You can see it here with the six of uh, pe uh, pentacles. I'm very inclined to say that you will have someone helping you with something because the board on the wall says save our world. You can see someone helping out. And so I see one of the major changes happening in your life is someone helping you out with something major in your life. And this help is not expected at all. Um, we can see here, blessings are showering your life. I can see that this person helping you out may be something small to them, but it's going to be major to you. This is like someone who gets to who's in a position of power that gets to make decisions easily and to them they are going to make these decisions anyway why don't they include you as part of the people that they are uh, that they can release that type of help or decision with right and, and so you you're going to feel very fortunate hey that person um gave me that privilege because they have it uh, and that could be like either with actual money or great advice or opening up a doorway for you, assisting you with something. Uh, or yeah, someone could be in a position of power, passing something for you, you know, make, signing something and freeing you from something that would have otherwise been very difficult to deal with for you. But for them, it was easy to sign. Now, something very interesting that I'm also seeing in your reading that's going to be one of the major changes to expect in your life right now. Here, we see the Five of Swords, some sort of... I see people that are not working in teams, but rather working against each other, where someone's going to win. For someone to win, someone's got to lose, you know? Whereas with the Three of Wands... I'll, I'll talk about what the Three of Wands mean, but this specific Three of Wands looks like there's a team working together, and I think it's in the Three of Wands because it's saying together as a team, you make things work, you make things move forward. And so in your life, in an area where you could be experiencing lack of movement, 
because you have you are dealing with people that are so focused on ego and who's going to win and who's going to lose rather than the benefit for everyone doing the right thing so that everyone can move forward um, and you will be instead working with other people who have the best interest or are focused on the main goal and are not necessarily focused on the little things as who's going to win and who's going to lose and who's going to take credit for this and who's not going to take credit for that and rather looking at the bigger goal and the bigger benefit so it looks like uh, in a challenging area of your life where you have people constantly maybe bickering and trying to up each other trying to like take something that's not theirs or claim something that's not theirs and constantly tiring you where you can't move forward and looks like you even have to keep them at arm's length they're a great challenge to you this pe these people with the seven of wands here we can see that there's a change of ener energy where you're definitely dealing with a different type of people who understand that it's all about connecting, collaborating for the greater good of everyone. That's definitely potent energy and major transformation that is happening during that time of your life. In general, what caught my eye right now as I, as I was taking a look at this barrel, you have love, money and goals. And I see that there's major transformations in these three areas of your life where your goals are working out. You're getting money. There's transformation in your money. There's transformation in love and your connections with others. In fact, with the help that's coming in here, with this person helping you, I do see that it's going to allow you to now pick and choose from the bigger dreams that you had. So let's say your dreams were limited because you didn't have uh, the right resources or opportunities to look outside the window or look outside of these op um, dreams. And now with the Seven of Cups, as you're getting assistance these days in, a, in an area that will truly surprise you, in fact, it may even be very official in nature, I think you will have the, I don't want to say audacity, but you'll have the boldness to now look further than what you once dreamed and start picking and choosing, saying, you know what, maybe I can even do that. Why was I so limited in what I dreamt about? Maybe now with this opening up for me, I can start dreaming bigger and I can start achieving bigger. And I really see that you will be so excited about the changes to come and you will start making bigger plans and you will start achieving these bigger plans um, filling up many areas that felt like a void in your life my dear pile number two so essentially i see with this card opening to your spiritual source i really feel that a saying look up to the heavens to the heavenly bodies in that case today it is the lion's gate portal i really see for you uh, this will have a big effect in your life these days it will have a potent effect uh, in changing and transforming many things especially things that you weren't expecting at all i see changes with the difficult people you're dealing with changes in experience changes in how you're upping your goals changes in uh, the way you do your work or you go about um yeah they're related these two changes in how you're gonna be doing your work and your goals moving forward and my dear pile number two this is exactly what i see you will see these days major changing starting to happen major ones that will give you a peek onto how your future is about to look like moving forward this is the energy that I see for you, my dear pal number two. This was a big energy here. I truly wish you the best of luck. May you enjoy what's coming in for you. And if you've enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And please don't forget to check out my productivity handbook. It is truly there to help you out. 
and also the productivity e-cookbook i this is a book that i've really worked from my heart to bring out to you i've partnered with a nutritionist that i really love and believe in to bring out to you 210 recipes that are healthy delicious and are cooked in a matter of minutes giving you the rest of the day to do what is important for you. And that's the equation that I wanted to do here, bring you delicious food that is healthy, but then give you the rest of the day so that you can do, yeah, what is important for you. If you're vegan, I got you, there's a vegan version. If not, you can make use of both eBooks. There are no duplicates and this way, you'll have a plethora of healthy and delicious meals to choose from for the rest of your life. And if you're interested in checking it out, I know this is a book that you will truly lo love. It's organized, it's clear, it has all the nutritional values, a clear picture of what to expect. The navigation is a breeze. I know you're gonna love it. And if you're interested in checking it out, you'll find a link to it down in the description box. And my dear pile number two, congratulations. Looking forward for you for all the major things to come. The moss appearing in your reading here is really saying that there's more light, more great news to come. Look out for these. My dear pile number two, congratulations. And I'll catch you in the next reading. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. Oh, looks like this slid off. Let's take it. Today, you were drawn to the beautiful rose quartz in the shape of a heart, as well as this really beautiful call, uh, card called Reveal. Very intrigued on what this card could mean in today's reading. Uh, and today we're doing a very special reading that I wait every year for. In fact, I really do believe in the energy of the Lion's Gate portal. I personally see its effect on my life. Uh, and um, yeah, let's see how it's going to affect yours these days. And the intention, of, ooh, I see the green one as well, so I'm gonna take it. And the intention of today's reading is, we're taking a look with this energy on what major changes to, to expect in your life right now. All right, so you have four tea leaves. Let's first take a look at your oracle cards. You have answering the call. The time is now. Wow, I love this card because with the time is now, you feel like finally a door has opened up and you are about to access something that you have been uh, being pro you have been promised to have. In fact, now I understand why you have the card reveal. We see an eye here. It's like you're finally going to see something uh, that's been sleeping for a while. The doors have been locked for a while. And now you are finally opening that door. It's revealing itself to you. And I see this wallpaper as the representation of the veils between this world and the other world, uh, the ethereal world, where you are now about to receive something in the 3D uh, that was energetic, that was about to happen to you, that was forming rather for you in the ether. Okay, let's find out what it is and what's going on here. <clears throat> You have the muse. Wow, it looks like the three of cups, something that you're going to be celebrating. <laughs> so we have with the muse here, generosity and naivety. Okay. You also have, ooh, look at doors being opened. It's mind blowing, you know? Again, the moon is giving me that same energetic interpretation of something beyond the veils unlocking and you receiving it in the 3d okay now let's take a look at your tea leaves you have happiness so sweet <laughs> i think with the happiness and the three of cups you are going to feel elated super happy to receive this blessing this looks to me like a wish or a big promise that was promised to you uh, perhaps through tarot or uh, number synchronicities your own readings or some promise you know each one gets their promise in a, a totally different way maybe you've heard it in a mu in a song you know your promise you have your connection with the universe you have ring a marriage will take place either romantic or business now something is committing to you now like um it belongs to you it uh 
it's part of you, something you're keeping. Bird flying, news is on the way, that's exactly what I'm seeing, okay. Answering the call, news is on the way. Could this mean uh, that you're getting a phone call, maybe? With answering the call and news is on the way, perhaps? We'll find out. And finally, you have carrot, opportunity or windfall, beautiful. And I do see an aspect here, where did I see it? Ah, with naivety, yes, okay. We'll talk about that in a second. Right, so let's now pick up your tarot deck and get more information. This one moved, let's take it. And get more information on what to expect next with this energy, uh, the Lionsgate portal. Right. So, my dear pile number three, you have the strength card. Interesting how your reading is opening up with the strength card. You have the Knight of Swords. Uh -huh. Look, I just have something to say really quickly. If you have a teenager, uh, you're first of all, just a quick uh, note, you're gonna receive some really good news about them. Maybe a wonderful report card. Or maybe they're getting into an amazing university or something. Some really good news about them. It's just a hit of intuition that I got. You have the page of wands. It says new project. Okay. You have the ten of wands. Oh, look at that. Look at the plant lining up perfectly so cool i think these two cards are definitely related in your reading even the red part here is extended there right isn't that cool all right let's keep them together they're definitely look at the paper did they meant to come out together unbelievable <laughs> it's the first time i noticed this in this deck wonderful okay so definitely these two are uh, related okay okay i'll fix it in a second Right, so you have the Three of Cups. Didn't I tell you there was this Three three of Cups energy here? Okay, major celebration energy. That's why you have happiness right in between. Some of you may be celebrating an engagement. That's, of course, very clear as well. Some of you might be getting engaged or you may be now someone asking you out, a new commitment that is making you so happy. That's also... Uh, a slight part that I see in your reading specific, but you know, I like to mention everything I, I see for you guys. You have the King of Cups. You have the Five of Cups. And finally, you have the Three of Wands. Whoa, so what is going on here? <laughs> Whoa, well. First, let's try to pick up what this major news is, where the time is now. What's going on here? I think it would be this one because that's the, uh, with the with the cards here, they really grabbed our attention for a while here, didn't they? So I think we'll start there when it comes to the time is now. And, and actually what I'm seeing here is very similar. It's a unique message that I haven't seen before and it's, funny enough, appeared in pile number two. And so I will tell you, if you were drawn to pile number two, I think this pile and everything in it will be for you as well. I highly recommend in that case for you to check it out, especially if you feel called to it. What I'm seeing here for you is an upgrade because, you know, from the ace to the tens is one chapter or one milestone. And from the pages to the kings is a new chapter or a new um, new page or a new milestone. So look at that. We have the Ten of Wands and the Page of Wands. It looks to me like you're ending a really heavy uh, cycle in terms of your goals and or your work and or your work. In terms of you feeling like things were very heavy you had a lot of work to do, uh, you had a lot of responsibilities, and it looks like 
you are first of all upgrading in your status there's a new level up going on maybe you're going to be promoted uh, maybe if you are doing things around the house you are getting assistance and you are being respected and loved so major changes happening in your life at the moment with regards to your work and your responsibility responsibilities so first of all your um, the amount of work that you have to do is certainly decreasing and you're being used or you're actually using your real skills and talents to do and to focus on what's important and what's going to take you ahead or take your company ahead so you can see you're getting now more organized you are much happier you see the page of wands here smiling the ten of wands is really sweating and really feeling it and you won't believe me if you take a look at pile number two from different cards and how this message was exactly spoken you are going to have your mind blown <laughs> looks like this is some sort of energy potent energy happening with the lion's gate portal it seems maybe it's in conjunction to some other planetary movements uh, or heavenly bodies movements happening at the moment that i don't know about uh, you know i'm not an astrologer but you know when i see things like that I really feel that something is astrologically happening for the collective. And so for you, it looks like there is an upgrade in how you do your work and your position and your respect within this work. And most importantly with the ones, how you're enjoying it and the passion you have towards working in that field or working towards your goals. Right, so having said that, let's now focus on what is being revealed with that. I mean, that's great news and everything, beautiful news. Uh, but I really feel like the time is now with something. So let me reflect more on your cards. Look, this card went up by accident. Maybe you're really rising here. Hmm. Let me reflect on your cards for a second. Puzzle putting two things together some of you will have your ideas heard and promoted to lead the whole project uh, some of you might have an investor that's gonna help that's gonna believe in your project invest in you and you're gonna be leaving behind a really a job that was paying you not so much and was very tiring some of you are finally going to start your own thing and succeed at it. Some of you will finally be heard and will have the opportunity to present yourself and your ideas. You will finally be heard and... Um, you will be given the great space to grow. I can't help but feel that you are leading a bigger project, something bigger, and project doesn't have to be work. But you're leading something bigger and others are following your lead. Look at this paper flying from this office to this office. I think with the time is now, you're going, whatever this is, you're going to be offered something like a lucrative offer, a contract that you will be signing that will change uh, your, your, your direction, your life, your financial income your position definitely you're signing something new here a new deal is offered to you this deal will have such an amazing uh, opportunity for you that you will really be celebrating and look i'm sure about that because remember answering the call and news is on the way so some communication is about to happen to you you, you may even be signing something that you will be celebrating making a new commitment with the ring here to a new, a new page with the page of wands, to a new job, a new position, 
uh, a new deal. This deal is not expected uh, and it's coming as a result of you being heard because you can see here with the five of cups, someone is really disappointed and you kind of feel like the waiter is about to lend them their ear. Can you see your card? There we go. And so I get the idea of being heard and some form of new collaboration is happening with you. This is a really lucrative form of collaboration because with a strength card, you see this uh, figure again holding a piece of paper. It's like they're reading the contract and they're surprised by the message that's coming. Uh, they feel like this is a strong deal that they're about to celebrate now. Amazing. And it's happening after a time where you feel stressed, burnt out, disappointed, sad, not knowing where you're going. And with that deal, now with the Knight of Swords, you're moving quickly. That's one of the fastest nights in the deck. You're having fun. Look at that. You're now, your energy is up. You're having fun. And on top of all that, you do see the King of Cups enjoying life now. They're in the pool. They're, of course, with the King in a bigger position. They're more, yeah, there's a lot of resting and having fun here. So with that new contract, it looks like your whole life is upgrading along with your rest and uh, peace, along with your enjoyment. And it is something that you will love so much that you will be celebrating. You'll feel like the universe was so generous to you with that energy. Finally, you are, you're about to see the promises that you have been given, my dear pile number three. It is coming as a great opportunity. And with a carrot, you know when they say a carrot has been dangling, this gives me again the impression that, you know, the universe has been promising you. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Well, the time is now, my dear pile number three. Very, very soon, you'll be out celebrating. Leading others. Hmm. Enjoying your life to the fullest. Your, the energy of your life is about to change forever. Whereas before, like I said, it was disappointing, sad, uh, heavy. You're, uh, you're more out there having fun, enjoying life. The best things in life enjoying your creativity. I love this reading for you, <laughs> my dear pile number three. <sighs> Looks like the news is on the way as we're talking. Oh, I did see naivety and I did see windfall. So I, I do want to tell you something, my dear pile number three. Now that this is happening now, as amazing as this is going to be, uh, I do see a warning with naivety and windfall. Perhaps there's something that you're being guided not to do in your reading today so that you keep this opportunity or that you don't, uh, I don't want to say spoil. No, that's not the right word. I mean, make things harder for yourself. Yeah, or ruin a part of it or something. So it does say naivety and windfall. I think I want to pick up your tarot cards for this one because I'm not entirely picking up on the warning here exactly on what you need to be careful with the only thing that's catching my eyes are the eyes so perhaps it is saying even though this is good news read the paper papers well read the fine print well don't accept things too quickly yes of course you can accept them but you know discuss things more don't take them as they are. Make sure that you, your future is protected perhaps well. Uh, this could be the energy that I'm... Oh, I just noticed something for the first time. These three cups have a pomegranate and a musical instrument. I think this is the harp, if I'm not mistaken. And a bird. Oh, and two cards. Wonderful. <laughs> 
So I think with the pomegranate, to me, the, the pomegranate is not just a symbol of abundance, but also a symbol of abundance coming from the underworld. Because straight away, I remember Persephone when I look at a pomegranate. So it, the first thing you need to take care of is considering the things that you're not seeing. Like, are there any hidden costs that you're not thinking about uh, in the, amidst all the excitement and the celebration? Are there things that could arise that you are not planning well for? So the first guidance in your reading is before proceeding and signing a contract and making a deal as amazing as it is, you still need to pause and reflect a little bit on what to expect next that you may not like in the future. So protect your future, my dear pile uh, number three. Second thing with the harp is it reminds me of happiness, you know, your heart singing. So the naivety here could be being too happy that you could over expect things that could disappoint you later. So you want to be happy, but not just over expecting things over ex like, uh, you know, you're going to get what you're supposed to get, but maybe there's over expectations that everyone's going to be a good person. Maybe not everyone's going to be a good person. Maybe most people are or over expectation that there will never be a problem. You know, maybe there will be challenges. So I think the second thing your reading is guiding you towards is to yes, be super happy, but don't let your uh, happiness uh, um, put you in a drunk state of happiness <laughs> where you don't watch out for the things that you may need to watch out about, to look at things realistically, to be optimistic and happy, but also at the same time to not be disappointed by anything that could happen here and there and to know that you're getting a, a, a wonderful present that the universe is giving to you. But, you know, leave space for things to happen here and there and do know that nothing is going to be taken away from you. In fact, you're only going up from here. You're really going to be happy. Last thing with the bird, it reminds me of the card of news. And in this case, it reminds me of communication. So third, third thing, you may not want to be have naive energy in terms of communication. You want to... Uh, sound like you have your best interest at heart. You want to sound like you've planned and thought of things properly. You want to sound like uh, a leader that they are depending on, perhaps. Yeah, you want to notice your communication. You don't want to overspill. You know why? Because here there's a lot of wine coming out. Also here, look at this cup, just a little bit. And with spilling the tea and communication, I think your reading is telling you don't spill out too much at least in the beginning you know be reserved uh, give just about right don't overshare especially when you're really happy and excited about what's coming <laughs> my oh no 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 we still have two cards we still have two cards on your on being careful five of swords always remember my dear pile number three as amazing as this is uh, some people just have their own best interest at heart and nobody else. So you want to take your advantages and make sure that you protect your boundaries and that uh, you don't let anyone take from you what they aren't supposed to take, right? So it's within the same line we've noticed. It's all games with the video games here. It's all fun, but you still got to be alert. Four of Swords. Communication. See, we see, uh, I know Four of Swords is not communication, but I'll tell you what I mean. You have a message here. You have a computer, again, giving me the idea of messages and communication, as we've been seeing throughout your reading, messages and communication. And so I think with the Four of Swords, Four of Swords is being restful. So don't let your need, for example, to... Um, rest your need to be comfortable take away from your rights sometimes you gotta get out of your comfort zone say things that are scary say, say things challenge yourself to say things that 
you are otherwise aren't so comfortable to say just to secure that nobody takes away what is rightfully yours other than that my dear pile number three major things are happening for you <laughs> you're finally having a big door opening up that was promised to you over and over and as it was saying that i see the word word tarot over there so probably uh, it's like at the right time when i was saying that so maybe through your tarot readings uh, you've been seeing a promise it's happening to you that message or contract or communication it's happening to you right now and you are going to have a wonderful life with it my dear pile number three this is exactly what i see for you i wish you the best of luck from my heart <laughs> very excited for you and uh, if you've enjoyed your reading please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that i upload and please don't forget to check out my productivity e-cookbook this is a book that i really was passionate about i partnered with a nutritionist and the idea was to bring out to you 210 recipes that are healthy delicious and are cooked in a matter of minutes giving you the rest of the day to do what is important for you that was the whole idea happy to tell you that it's now out it's been out for a couple of months now and um, if you're vegan, there's a vegan version. If not, you can make use of both ebooks. There are no duplicates. And this way, you'll have a plethora of healthy and delicious meals to choose from, perhaps even for the rest of your lives. Uh, and um, if you're interested in checking it out, you'll find the link to it down in the description box. And my dear pile number three, it was such a pleasure revealing this information for you. <laughs> so excited for you. Please do update me. All the best of luck and I'll catch you. I just saw BAM. It's like about to happen here for you. All the best of luck and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye.